All right, so I just wanted to talk about a uh, f- movie franchise that's been near and dear to my heart over the years. Um, you know, it's been a big part of my childhood. Uh, you know, I've grown up with it. Um, you know, it's been, what, 24 films now in this franchise. And if you haven't figured it out, it's the James Bond franchise. Recently, I found the James Bond franchise like with Daniel Craig, um, love him or hate him. Um, I don't particularly like him. Um, I think, you know, he's not been a great James Bond. He's been quite serious he's he's lost a lot of, he doesn't have a lot of humor to say like sorry roger moore had or or sean connery what sean connery had back in the day uh rip to both of them um but i mean at least they didn't have to fucking endure how shite the joint james bond franchise has become lately i think uh casino royale is actually not a right film um craig's original film but after that it's just been absolutely dire like went off a cliff face literally um uh, was it Quantum of Solace was next? I think I ever that's the only Bond film I've ever watched once. It was just so terrible. I watched it when it first came out uh, in cinema, and it was just absolute trash. It was just so crap. It was just a crap film, basically. Um, it just felt like a generic action film. It just didn't feel like a Bond film whatsoever. Uh, also, it was the first direct sequel in any Bond film. Um, so I mean, fair enough to drunk is something new, but Bond films don't really work that way. I find I find. There were standalone missions, it just works so much better. Um, but they've tried to connect a whole Craig verse, I guess, of Bond films. Like he's, so I feel like now they're trying to go more towards, um, you know, having each Bond have their own sort of, you know, uh, mini franchise. Uh, so I assume whoever's the next Bond, uh, which is on today's topic of the video. Um, they'll get their own little franchise as well, so they'll string together, you know, their films. Uh, which I hope they don't do because I don't think Bond really works like that. Like you shouldn't really work like that. It's not the Bond formula. It's what, not what people come to expect. Um, call me a traditionalist, but you know, call me old-fashioned. But I, you know, I, again, I'm relatively young. I grew up with Daniel Craig as the James Bond, but you know, I, I, even I prefer the Bond films from the '80s and stuff. But um, you know, a lot of today's polit- with a lot of today's political climate, like a lot of them are considered chauvinistic or fucking, you know. Um, well, mainly chauvinistic, like he's fucking, you know, the male fantasy, right? Uh, especially from that time period, like the 80s. Um, that's when he supposedly, you know, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, if you go back to, um, say, oh no, Roger Moore's or um, even uh, Sean Corey's films, and then look how he talks to women, it's quite, it's just, it, but it's funny though, it's, it's, it's kind of funny to sort of watch that. It's not, I wouldn't say it's, it's insulting or demeaning, you know, it's a fantasy, you know what I mean? It's a fiction, it's a work of fiction. And you know, you know, from that time period that, you know, they had different, you know, opinions on, on that sort of thing. Like it's a very different political climate to what it is now. And it's just like, you know, you can't expect films from the eighties to act like films from the noughties or from the 2010s or, or today. Like it just doesn't conform and it, you know, but people still get triggered by it. And it's, I just think that's kind of pathetic and stupid, to be honest. So like, look, if you know, if you know it's gonna trigger you, just don't watch it. Like you know, you know I don't. You know it's a fucking film. Uh, get over it. Like this film that made forty years ago. So it's just like before you're probably even born. So you look like go like get over that type of thing. Um, doesn't mean I think it should be in today's Bond. Like he shouldn't. Like, you know, like a lot of uh, the Bond girls tend to to be back then. It's like, oh, what do we do now, James? Type of thing. <laughs> i.e. they can't think for themselves but so that but i just find that funny like look you know you choose to take offense of that but like i mean anyway not that i'm saying this should be what bonds should be today fair enough like you know times have moved on like you know the women are more rightly more competent you know you got um was it the new money penny actually come or well, at least came out on uh missions and such and she was actually really competent so, and uh, that's fair enough that's totally fine um i'm actually all for that um, but where it becomes, you know, problem when trying to be inclusionary for all these genders and stuff, which I, I think was a good idea that's gone too far. Um, my reason being for this new film, I know, granted I haven't watched it, no one's watched it yet, uh, No Time to Die or whatever, um, they got now a new woman um, who supposedly is going to take the role of 007, of James Bond, in his next film, which I think is totally going to, suck um but you know you could call you know to call me whatever you want but you know i'm not you know i know what i'm not and the thing is the whole point of the born franchise is that it's a male 
don't as you know as a male um, action hero like if you're going to make it a female it's going to change the story it's going to change the whole tone of it and that's my problem with it it's not because necessarily there's a strong woman in the action role that's fair enough that's fine in its own right but it shouldn't be taking over an established franchise that has a male lead you know it and it completely completely sacrifices the story um, the other controversy is because she's black, but I don't see anything wrong with that. I actually supported uh, Idris Elba um, when he was rumoured to be the next James Bond. Oh, I don't really give a shit. I don't think that affects... See, that's the thing. It doesn't affect the story. As long as, as long as I'm not being lectured to about fucking, you know, race politics or gender politics during the... Like, I feel like I'm being lectured to about that when I'm watching the film and I'm being entertained. I don't give a shit what colour the fucking James Bond is, but the fact that it's now going to be, you know, now going to be a woman. It's clearly, clearly going to be, I mean, again, I don't know this, how I watched it, but, you know, something tells me it's going to be a fucking, you know, lecture on fucking social politics and uh, women's politics or what, whatever. It's going to be a fucking lecture and it's going to be so shit. Um, I could be wrong. They could knock it out of the park. I could be completely mistaken about this, but no, it doesn't look that way for looking at the ads, looking at, you know, everything... Um, that they've given out so far it just looks like it's going to be that sort of movie and it's just like oh no they're going to ruin their fucking studio like so the past few Bond films since Craig took over have been pretty fucking terrible um, and I think it's almost going to be like the you know the cherry on top of how shite the Craig films were um, and you know I just don't, I just don't think they're going to change direction this um Whoever's running James Bond franchise right now, I just don't think they're going to change um, that outlook. I mean, the only two good Craig films were Casino Royale and probably Skyfall as well. I thought that picked up a bit, and that was actually an alright film. Uh, and then it went shit again after that. I can't even remember the name of the next one. Uh, yeah, I just don't, don't fucking remember. It's just so fucking forgetful. And this one just looks like shockingly shit. Um, you know, it's just, yeah. I don't know, it's just, what, it's just a shame because it's a franchise that I think a lot of people used to love. It used to be, you know, it used to be a, a, a boy's film. I mean, it's fine, you know, girls, you know, there's a lot of women who like it, but, you know, it's clearly a lot of women who, who like, you know, probably don't like the action film, or, you know, genre. You know, it tends to be more of a, I'm not saying, you know, excluding people, but as I'm saying, like, the fans of that film are more likely to be male. That's all it is, and that, I mean that's statistically correct as well. Um, but the thing is, like now they're trying to pander to um, women a lot more, which is fine if it they made like a spin-off franchise, which I think would have been the right path. If they made like a spin-off franchise, made like, like 005 or something, um, you know, made a spin-off franchise for for chicks or whatever. I mean that's absolutely fine, but just don't ruin the actual what made James Bond James Bond. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, it's just why. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just. I, mean, I get it. It's, it's, it's you know it's you know it's, it's trying to be something that's um, progressive or you know it's trying to be inclusionary, uh, if that's the right word. Um, but it's like what? Why can't you make your own franchise? So you you don't need to take an existing established franchise, you know, who's quite clearly got um, a clear identity. You know, is a is a male. You know, it's a is a boys. Um, Boys fantasy type of thing. It's, it's just like you know, it's an ex, it's an escapist, um, you know, genre of film. It's, it's like why are you now putting funneling in all these politics about women, you know, needing to be in strong female positions into an established franchise. It's fine if you have a new one. It's just don't, you know. Oh, I don't know. It's just, it's just sad to see like because it's a big franchise worldwide. It's you know, it's a big part of being British as well as as a Brit. Like you know, it's one of our big you know movie franchises. And now it's you know it's a sinking ship like um, just because it's now getting all this fucking woke shit being shoved into it. I mean again like wokeness is something that used to be you know like I assume it, it started out with good intentions. It's just gone too far. Just added too much. Anyway, that's kind of what I think. I just think it's quite sad to see another film franchise be sort of taken down by uh, all this sort of politics and such. It's just. Uh, so this is a great shame, to be honest. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about today.